don't know. I think it's a pretty good time to be a woman, a woman. in her 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s and beyond. Yeah. And beyond. Because you're late 30s. I'm 38. Yeah. 38, mm -hmm. looking like a child. Darling. <laughs> no, as are you. No, but you spend a lot of time in America I as do. well as over here. Yeah. Our attitudes are different towards ageing oh, between the two countries. Oh, completely. Yeah, especially... LA to here so right. I think and, and actually in a weird way I think here is worse because in LA they're obsessed with like extreme youth I if you're not 21 <laughs> you're kind of past it right. whereas here I think the, the terrible thing is it's almost like you sort of hit 35 and then it's like oh my god you're getting so old and I mm -hmm. think because we have a much more wider appreciation of different types of beauty it puts pressure on women when they get to a certain age, whereas I think after a while in L.A., you know, if you're not 21 and sort of a supermodel, you don't stand a chance anyway. So, so it doesn't, doesn't matter. matter. Just eat cream cakes all day long. Exactly. It is strange. And you know what? It is so, it is so odd because you look at other parts of the world mm. where women, particularly women as they get older, are yeah. revered. They're Completely. revered and respected yeah. and they're wise women. Yes. And, and people want to talk to them and find out what they're doing. And totally. Whereas sometimes in, in, in Europe in particular, mm. it's like they're invisible. I, Completely, you know, my parents are from Ghana and in West African culture, the woman, that, the, you know, the most celebrated member of society is an older woman. Right. So it, we don't have the same issues about ageing. An older African woman is never going to feel insecure next to a young girl because actually wisdom is what is celebrated and right. revered in a woman. And I think we need a lot more of that in the West. And I think women here need to sort of own up and actually sort of stand up for themselves and say no more. Why are we going to make to feel worse of it? than ourselves or sort of in the non-desirability factor just yeah. because we're over a certain age when actually we're at our best when we get older. No, it's very true. I mean, and there is that thing about being in your prime. Yeah. And I think that's very, very true, totally. actually. I think sometimes as well as you get older, you're less hard on yourself, yes, don't you think? you do. You lose your insecurities in the same way. Mm. And I think you're much more interesting. I'd much rather have a dinner, you know, with Helen Mirren than sort of an 18-year-old model. No, no. offence to 18 year old models. <laughs> like you, 18 year old models. Yeah, but, yeah, but I'd Mirren, rather you're talk to get, Helen Mirren. Yeah, you get more, I think you definitely get more of a laugh. She's always cited as, as a role model mm. of somebody who, and you see her on the red carpet and she wears, she's you know, gorgeous. she'll wear an amazing dress or sometimes she'll she'll put a black leather jacket over yeah. it and she just she's she'll hot. dye her hair pink. She does all these things and yeah. there's that kind of thing of you can do these things. You Don't can. be scared. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. And also I do think you see the difference between a woman that accepts herself. When the woman woman herself accepts herself than society does. Mm. No one says Helen Mirren is past it. Everyone says how amazing she is because that exudes from her. So, yeah. yeah.